how we're loading this back in, we have to keep in mind how much space we have. Everybody's got a lot of media, magazines, books. We talked about the magazines already, but books, um, stuff like audio. This is a tough one because would it be nice to learn Russian, conversational Russian in seven days? Yes, it would. Everyone would love that, right? But are we really going to take the time to do it on tape? If the stuff exists on CD, it's going to be newer, it's going to be better, it's going to last longer. It can be digitized to take up zero actual space. So we have to be willing to let go of this stuff because there's just not room for it in our lives anymore. We've, as a society, we've moved past this. So we're going to have to get rid of the stuff like tapes. Analog media. Uh, more analog media. Books. Now, books aren't quite so easily, easily digitized, but stuff like manuals, um, anything that's going to exist online, you're going to have to be willing to let go of. Because, again, for every one thing you buy, it's going to have 20 manuals. You're not going to take the time to look through this. It's just going to make you more disorganized. It's going to contribute stress to the space you're trying to work in. And that's not going to help you. That's going to hurt you. So it's not information you're losing. It's space you're gaining. Uh, and you can remember this information isn't gone forever. It still exists online. It could still exist anywhere you want to find it. You don't need it in your space. So we'll keep the books that are most important to us and try and cut down by half because we're not really going to need everything we already have in the space.